These paintings were made by Father Barry Brom. Now he paints often, but this was not always the case. After studying art, he felt that his work was superficial and self-centered, until he came across one pope's writing. I came across uh, St. John Paul II's Letter to Artists, uh, which was had a very profound impact on me. If art or beauty is the particular vocation of an artist, um, and if that beauty is connected to the goodness of God in some way, then I think that that art takes on the purpose that it's supposed to have. This letter gave new meaning to his work and helped him discover what he calls, quote, a gift from God that he had rejected years before. St. Therese of the Child Jesus was one of his first portraits, and Father Brahm says he has always been interested in drawing people's faces. The saints are saints because they manifest the goodness of God in such a particular way. And uh, so I think by highlighting the saint, you see in the saint a certain um, light of God. And I think that that's particularly captured in the, in the eyes. His paintings are made with watercolors, oils, and even digitally. For him, painting is more than just a physical action. It has a vocational dimension as well. Life becomes beautiful when we can perceive meaning in the things that we're doing, or when we can see uh, see meaning. And I, well, I think it's more something that's perceived and experienced. And so there's a, there's something fulfilling about it. Um, and so I think whenever we can find things that fulfill us, uh, I think that's when we're encountering in some way uh, at least certain vocational aspects of maybe what the Lord has put on our particular life to do. And Father Brom adds that his vocation as a priest is the one that most fulfills him, but he knows that his artistic calling is by no means separate from his priesthood. This is what the letter from the Polish Pope showed him. And that is why Father Brahm says that his favorite portrait is that of John Paul II.